Welcome, my name is Gil and I'm a student at the University of Twente of the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Mathematics and Computer Science, in Dutch known as EWI. In this brief presentation, I will show you how to use Cyrus, a tool that the university provides you to administer your student-related data and credits. Additionally, you will be introduced to Blackboard, a tool used at the university to interact with teachers and classmates. By the end of this presentation, I will give you an overall view of the campus and the places that you may find useful and interesting to visit. Hello, this is an introduction to Osiris. Osiris, or Osiris, as it is known in Dutch, is a tool that the University of Twente provides you to subscribe to your courses, credit records, exam registrations, and personal information. As a student, you'll be using it several times. To access Osiris, all you have to do is to type in your browser of choice, http colon slash slash osiris.u20.nl. In this page, look for a link called Inlogen Osiris Student, which will take you to the real login page. Once there, enter your login details. To log into Osiris, you will have to type S followed by your student number. For example, if your student number is 1234567, you will have to type S1234567, then type the password that you got in a letter by the university, and voila, you're in. Once in, you will find several options, which I encourage you to explore by yourself. Additionally, you will find your personal information. At this point, you can do several things, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I will show you how to look for and register for a test. First and foremost, there is a little flag at the bottom of the page that will enable you to change the language of the interface. If you are a non-Dutch speaker, this may come handy. To register for a course or a test, tap on the button Register in the top menu. In this page, you'll be able to search for your courses and tests. As you may have noticed, there are separate registrations for courses and tests. A registration for a course does not automatically register you for a test, but more of that in a moment. To register for an exam, either fill the test field with the test code and click on register for test link. Or if you don't know the code, you may click on the test link over the text fields. The system will show you the program that you're currently registered to. At this point, you may have noticed that you can also register for re-examinations through this method. There are several rules that apply depending if you're studying a master's or a bachelor's degree. So I would highly recommend you to ask your study advisor for guidance since there are specific rules that apply to bachelor and master's students. But more of that in a moment. So back to test registrations. Click on the link of your program, in this case the Master of Human Media Interaction. Then you will find all the possible tests that you can register to. Select the test that you want to register to. And then click on the not so obvious register link at the footer of the page. If you can't find the test or the course that you're looking for, you can send an email to tentamen underscore ewi at u20.nl. The University of Twente has a highly regulated process of taking re-examinations for a certain number of tries, in that you have to go through a special process to apply for re-examination. All students, regardless of their level, can freely apply for re-examinations, but after a certain number of tries, things start getting a little bit complicated. So, just don't bail. But if you really want to know more about it, go to u20.nl and type Reichling der Poching Ewi. The first result should be what you're looking for. Or if you want information in English, type Information Third Attempt Ewi or ask your study advisor for guidance. Now, back to our dear Osiris. I realize I've been talking about supervisors and people you may need to contact without introducing them to you. If you want to know their contact information, click on the Tutors tab on the menu. You may also find your grades in the results section and your transcripts in the progress section. One more thing about Osiris and registrations. Please keep in mind that for every exam you register to, you must show up in the place and time you are required to do so. If you fail to do this, it will still count as one of your opportunities to apply for a test. Now on to Blackboard. Blackboard is a tool for you to use to communicate with your teachers, supervisors, and even classmates. In Blackboard, you'll be able to find, among other things, the material of your class, the latest announcements for your courses, detailed instructions for your assignments, and submission procedures to send your assignments. To access Blackboard, type in your browser http colon slash slash blackboard.u20.nl. Like Osiris and all your university accounts, your username and password are exactly the same. So type S followed by your student number and then your password. Once in, in the middle column, you'll find a series of boxes. The top one containing announcements, followed by a list of courses that you're currently taking, then a box for organizations. This last one may appear if you're planning to do an internship or so. Courses will automatically be added to your Blackboard every time you subscribe to a course in Osiris. In case you are looking for a course in particular, you can access it through the Courses tab in the top menu. In this example, I'm already subscribed to a course, among others called Speech and Language Processing 1. I'll go and show you an example of the course. 
Towards your left, you will find a series of buttons, each one containing information and documents about your course. By default, you will land on the announcement page of the course. Now, let's go to the course overall information. In the course information page, you will find all the facts that you need to know in order to begin the course, such as the books that will be used during the class, the topic schedule, and under which criteria you will be graded. If you would like to know how to contact your future teachers, you may be able to find their contact information in the contact page. Course material page will contain the slides and research papers presented in the class. This section is especially useful because it will allow you to review everything that you saw in class. You can find all the details of your out-of-class work in the assignment page. Lastly, you will find a button to unenroll from the course. However, you must remember that unenrolling in Blackboard does not mean that you're officially unenrolling from the course. Please keep in mind that if your course requires you to take an exam, you must enroll to both the course and the exam separately, and that this can only be done through Osiris and not Blackboard. Blackboard is, after all, just a communication tool between the students and teachers of a course. As with everything in life, there is a deadline to register for an exam. If you happen to be in such unfortunate situation, I recommend you going to the VOZ, which stands for Bureau on the Way Zaken. They could perhaps help you, but there is no guarantee that they'll be even able to do so. So beware, now onto the campus. As you may have noticed, the University of Twentes campus is a big, big place. There are several places that may be of your personal interest. The first building worth mentioning is the Silverling. This is where most of your studies will take place and where you will probably spend most of your time. Within the Silverling, you may see the Edu Cafe, which is a strange dimension where reality becomes fiction and fiction becomes reality. Also. You can find good computer supplies and hang out with computer geeks like the author of this video. The so mentioned Bayo Z may be found in the Citadel. Classrooms are scattered all throughout the campus, but you would usually find them in Hal Bay, the Rabeline, Carré, the Vrijhof, the Spiegel, the Cubicus, the Citadel, and in some occasions even in the Horst. So yeah, all over the campus. If you find yourself starving and need some lecherous food, the wire is the place to go. Otherwise, you have the coop, which is right under the building of the giant climbing wall, officially known as Sky. And there is a cafeteria at the horse. Next to the climbing wall, you will find the sports centrum, a place equipped with a gym and several multi-use indoor courts. If you want to make use of the sport facilities, you should consider getting an extra card. For all the international students and Dutch students who want to study abroad, the international department is located in the Bastille, along with various students' organizations, collectively known as the Student Union. Across the road, you may find a building that, like the Bastille, has several functions. This is the Breithof, home of the amphitheater and art galleries, also home of the university's library and student services office in the second floor, a study area in the third floor, and a landry center in the fifth floor. Most of the cultural life of the university is carried out in this building. Lastly, you may find a bar within the Edu Cafe, the first floor of the Breithof right in front of the state, and the well-known Besting Bar in the second floor of the Bastille. I hope you find this little guide helpful, and I hope you enjoy your time at the University of Twente. This is a great place to study, make friends, and grow professionally. Ik wens je veel succes met je studie. Doei doei!